Hi everyone, and our topic for today is all about illustrating and graphing linear inequalities in two variables. Linear inequality in two variables is a mathematical sentence that uses the symbols of inequalities. So these are the symbol. We have the greater than, less than, greater than or equal to or at least, less than or equal to or at most, and not equal to. Any linear inequality can be written in one of the following forms. Ax plus by greater than c, ax plus by less than c, ax plus by greater than or equal to c, ax plus by less than or equal to c where A, B, and C are real numbers and A and B are both not equal to zero. We have the examples. So these are the example, X minus Y greater than 12, four X plus two Y less than 10, three Y less than or equal to X plus five, and X greater than equal to two Y minus one. An order pair X and Y or xy is a solution of a linear inequality if the inequality is true when the values of x and y are substituted into the inequality. Now we have the example. Tell which of the given coordinates of points on the graph satisfy the inequality. So this will be your given inequality, y less than 2x plus 2. And these are the given coordinates. 0, 2, 5, 1, negative 4, 6. So the first one, letter A, 0 and 2. Y less than 2x plus 2. Y is your 2 because the second number is Y and the first number is your X. So change Y to positive 2. Then less than 2, your X is 0. Then multiply 2. 2 times 0, the answer is 0 plus 2. Then 2, 0 plus 2, the answer is 2. 2 less than 2, and the statement is false, wherein 2 is not less than 2. 2 is equal to 2. Therefore, 0, 2 is not a solution of the inequality. How about B? 5, 1. Y less than 2x plus 2. Your y is positive 1, change y to positive 1, and then your x to positive 5. Then simplify 1, then 2, multiply 5, 10 plus 2. Then 1, 10 plus 2 is 12. We're in 1 less than 12. And the statement is true. We're in 1 is less than 12. Therefore, 5, 1, the ordered pair 5, 1, is a solution of the inequality. Then how about letter C or letter C? Negative 4, 6. Y less than 2x plus 2. 6, that will be your Y. Change Y to positive 6 and change X to negative 4. Then simplify, we have 6 less than 2 multiply negative 4 and the answer is 8 plus 2. Then we have 6 less than 8, negative, positive 2, add, the answer is negative 6. 6 less than negative 6, and the statement is false, wherein 6 is not less than negative 6. 6 is greater than negative 6. Therefore, negative 4, 6 is not a solution of the inequality. And the answer is B. B is the solution of the one of the solution of this given inequality another example determine if the points 8 3 and 4 negative 5 are solutions of the inequality x minus 2y less than 7 so the first one we have 8 3 and number 2 is 4 negative 5 let us uh, find out if uh, 8 and 3 is one of the solution of this given inequality. 
x minus 2y less than 7, your x is 8, and your y is positive 3. So change 3 to change y to positive 3 and your x to positive 8. Then simplify, multiply this, and therefore 8 minus 6 less than 7. 8 minus 6 is 2 less than 7. And the statement is true because 2 is less than 7. Therefore, A3 is a solution of the inequality. And how about number 2? 4, negative 5. So again, this will be our given inequality. Then substitute uh, 4. So change x to positive 4 and your y to negative 5. Then multiply negative 2 times negative 5. The answer is 10. 4 plus 10 and we have 14 less than 7. And the statement is false, wherein 14 is not less than 7. 14 is greater than 7. Therefore, 4 and negative 5 is not a solution of the inequality. So therefore, this will be the solution of this inequality. Next, is 2, 3 a solution for the linear inequality to x plus y greater than 5? Let us find out. 2, 3. So this will be your inequality, 2x plus y greater than 5. 2, your x is 2, and your y is 3. Then simplify 2, multiply 2, 4, then copy 3, then bring down 5. 4 plus 3 is 7 greater than 5. And therefore, the statement is true. We're in 8, 3 is a solution of the inequality. The answer is yes. How to graph linear inequalities in two variables? Graphing linear inequality in two variables, the steps in graphing a linear inequality in two variables are as follows. Number one, replace the inequality symbol with an equal sign. Number two, find the uh, x-intercept and y-intercept. Graph. Then use the origin as the testing point. Example number one. Grab the solution set of x plus 3y greater than 6. First, replace the inequality symbol with an equal sign. x plus 3y greater than 6. Then it can be x plus 3y equal equals 6. Find the x-intercept and y-intercept. Let your x equals to 0 and your y equals 0. x plus 3y equals 6. Your x changed to 0. Then positive 3y equals 6. Then 3y equals 6. Then we are looking for the value of y. Now, to eliminate positive 3, all you have to do is divide both sides by 3. Then cancel out. Then y equals 2. Because 6 divided into 3, the answer is positive 2. And what if your y is 0? Then what will be the value of x? x plus 3y equals 6. x plus 3. Then change y to 0. Then simplify, x plus 3 multiply 0, the answer is 0, so therefore 0 is nothing. So we have x equals 6. So if your x is 0, therefore your y is 2. If your uh, y is 0, therefore your x is 6. So these are your two given points. So two points is enough to graph the linear inequalities in two variables. Next, number three, graph x plus 3y greater than 6. So these are your given or two ordered pair or two points. So the first point, 0, 2, 1, 2. So this will be your point. Next, second point, 6, 0. We have this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you move six units to the left or to the right, to the right of the uh, y-axis. And this one above, two units above 
the x-axis. So we have six, zero. A solid line, if the origin, original inequality contains greater than, equal to, or less than, equal to symbol. So in to graph the linear inequality in two variables, we have two types of graph. We have a solid line and a broken line. Now, the solid line indicates that all points on the lines are part of the solutions of the inequality. If you see the symbol of the uh, greater than, equal to, or less than, equal to symbol. Now, if the inequality contains greater than or less than symbol, use a dash or a broken line. Now, this broken line indicates that the uh, coordinates of all points on the lines are not part of the solution set of the inequalities. So therefore, we use dash or a broken line because the given symbol is greater than. So this will be your inequality. So the symbol is greater than. So we use broken line. Now this broken line indicates that uh, all points on the line are not part of the solution set. Next, use the origin as testing point. If the origin make the inequality true, shade the haplane containing the origin. So shade the haplane contain, include the point of origin. Now, if the origin make this inequality false, shade the haplane does not contain the origin. So avoid shading the point of origin if the statement is false. So this will be the point of origin. So we have the zero, zero. So this will be your inequality symbol or the inequality example, your x plus three y greater than six. So your x is zero and including your y is zero. Then simplify, so therefore we have zero, zero, zero plus zero, so therefore zero is nothing. So zero greater than six and the statement is false because zero is not greater than six, zero is less than six. So the statement is false. Now, if the statement is false, so you shade the half plane does not contain the origin. So this will be your shaded region. And this will be your x plus three y greater than six. Then all points on this half plane are the solution set of the inequality. So these are your solution set of this inequality. Not included. These are not part of the solution. All points on the line are not part of the solution. Only the shaded region are the solution set. Example number two, grab the solution set of 2x minus y less than or equal to 4. First step, replace the inequality symbol with an equal sign. 2x minus y greater less than or equal to 4. Then change this symbol to equal sign. 2x minus y equals 4. Then find the uh, x-intercept and y-intercept. Let your x is 0 and let your y is 0. 2x minus y equals 4. 2, your x is 0. And then negative y equals 4. 2 multiply 0, the answer is 0. Minus y equals 4. Then negative y equals 4. Then divide both sides by negative 1. Why? Because we need to eliminate the negative sign because your y is always positive. So divide both sides by negative to make the uh, negative y to positive y. So cancel out y equals to negative 4. Next, if your y is 0, that what will be the value of x? So 2x minus 0, change y to 0, and then 0, then 2x minus 0 equals 4, 
then 2x equals 4. Then eliminate 2 to get the value of x. Divide both sides by 2. Then cancel out. Then your x equals 2. So the first point is 0, negative 4. If your x is 0, your y is negative 4. If your y is 0, your x is 2. So these are your two points. Graph 2x minus y less than or equal to 4. So these are your two points. So the first point, 0, negative 4. So you move below the uh, x-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four units below the x-axis. So this will be your point. And the second point, 2, 0, it means that you move two units to the left, to the right of y axis. So we have 0, negative 4. So 1, 2, this will be your point, 2, 0. Next, so again, if the inequality contains uh, greater than, equal to, or less than, equal to symbol, use a solid line indicates that all points on the lines are part of the solution of the inequality. Now, if the inequality contains greater than or less than symbol, use a dash or a broken line indicates that the coordinates of all points on the line are not part of the solution set of the inequalities. And therefore, we use a solid line. Connect the two points using a solid line. Now, this solid line indicates that all points on this line are part of the solution set because of this symbol. Now, next number four, use the origin as testing point. So again, if the origin make the inequality true, shade the happening contain the, the origin. And if the origin make the inequality false, shade the happening does not contain the origin. So we have the 0, 0. This will be the point of origin. So we have 2x minus y less than or equal to 4. Then your x is 0 and your y is 0. So therefore, 2 multiply 0. The answer is 0 plus 0. So 0 is nothing. So 0 less than or equal to 4. And the statement is true, wherein 0 is less than 4. And therefore, if the statement is true, then shade the half plane containing the origin. So this will be your shaded region. So again, this solid line indicates that all points on this line are part of the solution. So we have 2x minus 1 less than or equal to 4. So this will be also part of the solution set including this shaded region are also the solution set of this inequality. Remember, if the inequality contains greater than, equal to, or less than, equal to symbol, use a solid line. A solid line indicates that all points on the lines are part of the solution of the inequality. Now, if the inequality contains greater than or less than symbol, use a dash or a broken line. Now, this broken line indicates that the coordinates of all points on the lines are not part of the solution set of the inequality. Now, if the origin make the inequality true, shape the half plane containing the origin. If the origin make the inequality false, shape the half plane does not contain the origin. Thanks for watching. Bye.